I was going to Cariana. First two games have been, uh, you know, maybe kind of started off slow offensively and then really come together in the third and fourth quarters. What, what in your mind, has been the reason for the slow starts? I mean, I think we just, we just got to stick to the plan. Um, just continue to do what Coach says. Um, adversity happens, you know what I'm saying? How do you respond during adversity? Um, I think we're doing an all right job. We just got to do a better job of starting faster, um, just playing cleaner. Karen, going off that word you just used, adversity, I know it's not the exact same, but for a guy like Luke Doty going through an injury, you know, for you, you've gone through your different adversities here during at USC and you've handled it well. Has there been any advice you've kind of given Luke during this time period? Obviously, he's a younger guy, but at the same time, too, he's very mature for his age. Yeah, for sure. I just uh, try to continue to tell him to just stay the course, man. You know what I'm saying? Stuff is going to happen, but just continue to stay focused. Um, just continue to look ahead. You know, things are going to happen. You know, this is how you respond to it. DK, I know obviously Coach Muschamp will be on the other side of the line this weekend, but, you know, if at all, do you remember maybe the first conversation you had with Coach Muschamp when he was recruiting you and, uh, you know, what it will be like to maybe catch up with him a little bit? Uh, yeah, I definitely remember the first conversation we had um, back when I was a recruit. A uh, great guy, you know what I'm saying? I'd be excited to see him after the game, um, but it is what it is. Uh, after the game Saturday, this past Saturday, uh, Zeb was talking about your route that you ran on the touchdown catch and was real complimentary of what you did. Could you kind of walk us through that play and, and kind of what you saw and what you had to do on that play? Oh, yeah. I mean, it, it's a play where we've ran since spring. Um, we didn't really run it this much, that much this, this past week. So I, was, I think that was the first time we caught it in the game. Um, but I just kind of did, did, did what my coach is telling me to do. You know what I'm saying? Very coachable guy. Do, do whatever my coach says, and that's how, that's how it played out. So Then – Two years ago in Athens, uh, obviously that was a big game for you. Yeah, what yeah. what's kind of your main memories from from that time? Um, very exciting game, man. Atmosphere was 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 great. You know what I'm saying? Um, I soaked in the moment. I was a young guy. I still am young, but I was a very young guy then. But um, it, dang, it was great. Just thinking back on it. But I I think we're excited to get back there, man. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be a great game. Uh, 7 p.m. ESPN, uh, prime time game. You know what I'm saying? But we're, we're ready for it. Going back to your touchdown catch on Saturday, how much more comfortable are you now in your role? And do you see that, uh, like your performance on Saturday, as perhaps a, a, a turning point or a launching pad to um, your taking your game to another level? Yeah, definitely. I think it's everything that you just said. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's definitely a confidence builder. Um, and, and Coach Sat did a great job of getting me, getting me involved early. Uh, last game just to get me comfortable and get me going. You know what I'm saying? But it's definitely a stepping stool. Uh, my coaches and my teammates continue to, you know, help, help me feel comfortable, help me have those confidence, and I'm grateful for them. You know what I'm saying? But just got to continue to progress forward. You know what I'm saying? Move on. You know what I'm saying? Just be that guy for my teammates and my coaches that that's reliable. Do you carry on? What's what's this like? Consecutive wins, two and zero. It doesn't come around here very often, or often in recent years. Is there a, a, a confidence right now with this group about what you guys might be able to achieve? The thing is, we've always been confident, though. I think from the jump since we first came back in, in the spring, the kind of the, the work that we did put in, I mean, we know what, what we are capable. We know what we were capable of and what we are capable of. So right now, it's just, I mean, it's just going out and showing on Saturday how we were living these past eight months. You know what I'm saying? Day in, day in, day out, the preparation we put in. So it, it, there's no surprise to us because we know the, we know we know the work that we put in. So it is what it is. Karen, what have you seen from uh, Georgia's cornerbacks in the film that you've been able to watch? What kind of challenge do they present to you guys? Oh, yeah. I mean, Georgia has always, always had a great team. You know what I'm saying? Uh, they continue to play hard, uh, play man. They, they play well. They play the ball well. Um, they're physical on the edge, physical up front. You know what I'm saying? But we just got to continue to do our job and just worry about us, focus on us. Karen, getting back to that touchdown now that you watch it on film, did it surprise you that Zeb was able to, you know, float that ball over the linebacker and get it to you? I mean, is the jump part of that play saying, I'm going to throw it high, go get it? Uh, I mean, it, does, it doesn't surprise him because he does it all the time. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Day in and day out, he's a very accurate guy. You know what I'm saying? Um, but shout out to Zeb for just trusting me and, and giving me the opportunity to go make a play. Uh, with Josh Van, what what's different about him? Uh, I guess the coach has been pretty complimentary of, of his way he attacked the offseason. What, what have you seen as I mean, a teammate? Josh has always been the same guy. You know what I'm saying? I mean, we work extremely hard together, uh, all of us. 
All right, nine is just, you know what I'm saying? Everybody got to wait their time. You know what I'm saying? Man, right now, just showing up. All the work that he's put in is continuing to show up every single day on Saturday, day in and day out. He puts in the work. You know what I'm saying? If you continue to put in the work, it's going to show up on Saturdays, and that's what it's doing for him. Just a quick follow-up. But what do you remember about maybe that first time you talked to Coach Muschamp or where, where were you? Was it, was it at Fort George or was it a phone call? or? No, it was, it was here. Um, I think I was – it might have been a camp or a recruiting trip. Just talking about – uh, just me staying home, you know what I'm saying, playing for my home state and stuff like that, how much he respects me and loves the way I play and stuff like that. Karen, how often do you go up against Cam Smith in practice? Um, I, go, I go up against him sometimes. Um, I see him a lot because um, typically I'm in the inside, he's outside. Um, so I don't go up against him that much. Um, but, yeah, sometimes I do. What, what do you remember or what's – his biggest growth maybe that you've seen from spring to now and how good has he been um, through camp and now the first two weekends of the uh, season? Cam, play, Cam has always played with a little bit of confidence, but now he's he's feeling himself. You know what I'm saying? That's a really good thing. Whenever you feel yourself, you're confident. You know what I'm saying? With him playing confident, it, it helps him play at a high level. And I think he's playing at a very, very high level right now. Um, he's continuing to grow and continuing to embrace his role. I guess a lot was made about the receiver group before the season talked about in terms of explosiveness. What do you feel like you've learned about this group through the first two weekends of the season and, and what's next for this group as you get into SEC play? This group as in the, the receivers. receivers, yeah. Oh, I mean, I, I think we're a group that, that can make a lot of single, a lot, a lot of plays. You know what I'm saying? Um, the biggest thing is to continue to focus on ourselves, man. Focus on the fine details and be coachable. And I believe every, everything else to take care of itself. You know what I'm saying? If you live right on and off the field um, and just do what's right, everything else to take care of itself on Saturday. So... DK, uh, the ingredients that the 2019 team had, how similar, how different, how much of those do you feel like this year's team has when you talk about potentially going on the road and, and pulling off another upset? Yeah, I mean, I really can't compare this team's 2019 team. Um, this team is a whole different vibe, you know what I'm saying? Not to say anything bad about the 2019 team, but I think we, we love each other more. We care about each other more. Um, I know the work we've put in, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like, and I, I mean, I know we're prepared, you know what I'm saying? Um, just going forward and going to the SEC play, we're excited, man. And like I said, we know what we can do. I mean, the world just doesn't know. We just got to continue to you know, keep our head down and continue to push forward. So when you were asked about 2019 earlier, your face kind of lit up. You could say, like, how excited you were just thinking back uh, and looking facts. back on it. I want to know just some of, like, your specific memories that you remember, or just something that, that makes it so special for you that time. Man, to be real, um, I was dealing with a hamstring. Like, um, so I wasn't even supposed to play that game. I don't know if nobody knows. I wasn't supposed to play that game at all. Um, it was like a murky situation. So Ryan got hurt. So it was like, okay, DK, you got to go play. Um, so I think it was just that shocker of them telling me I got to go play and me, you know, limping around out there, just kind of just trying to do what I can do. You know what I'm saying? But it, it was a very exciting time, man. And, and I just can't wait to – I'm excited to go, go back to Athens. You know what I'm saying? Enjoy the atmosphere and just go back with my brothers. You know what I'm saying? And, and just go handle business. Hey, DK. What's hey, man. Up? Um, On Saturday, you had a fumble, but then you overcame yeah. that, <laughs> got, got the touchdown yeah. and everything. I was curious, what's the thing that keeps you going when you're faced with adversity? I don't know, man, because when that happened, I was just like, I was even upset about it. You know what I'm saying? Because it happened. It was just like, whether it was a fumble or not, I mean, y'all know what it, what it was, but... I mean, I just – I push for it, man. You know, my, but my teammates help me a lot, man. We're, we're a very positive group. You know what I'm saying? And just a positivity on the sideline, no bickering back and forth. That helped me, you know what I'm saying, stay stay high. You know what I'm saying? I, I didn't worry about it because I know everything happens for a reason. I've been through a lot of adversity in my life. I, I, I know I was going to have another opportunity to make another play, and it came. You see what I'm saying? You got to be ready whenever my number is calling. You know, don't hold on to bad plays. Just let it go and continue to move forward. Karen, well, I know it's been two years since that win against Vince Georgia in Athens. You know, you guys on the outside, people aren't going to give you guys a lot of op a lot of respect going into this game. But knowing that you guys have been able to go into a situation like that, knowing that you guys have been able to win, how much can that help this year's team despite it being two years ago? Um, I just think, it, I mean, it helps us our confidence-wise. But like I said, like, it's a whole different team. You know what I'm saying? So our, our mindset now is totally different than it was two years ago. You know what I'm saying? Um, yes, we're still underdogs, but this team here, we, I mean, we know, we, we know the challenge ahead of us. But like I said, I mean, we know the work we put in, you know, day in and day out, even today. Um, good, great Tuesday practice. You see what I'm saying? But, I mean, your preparation throughout the week leads up to Saturday. You know what I'm saying? You just can't turn it on on Saturdays. 
I would y'all to continue to prepare the right way Monday through Friday so Saturday take care of itself. Uh, your snaps at the quarterback this season, what, what do you think of, of how those, what, five or six plays have gone and what, what are, what's kind of your outlook on, on uh, yeah, the way I that role will be? Yeah, right now we, we just kind of trying to get the ball rolling, uh, trying to figure out what we're good at, you know what I'm saying, when we back there and just kind of just trying to figure things out right now. Um, things will probably continue to grow. I don't know what Coach Set has in line. Um, but, you know what I'm saying, I, I, I do what I'm asked to do. You know what I'm saying, continue to be a coachable, a coachable guy just continue to push forward.